Welcome to this week's Coach's Corner. Coach Derek Schooley joining me. Let's talk about the first sweep of the season over Sacred Heart Saturday night. Uh, kind of shook off that first night of the series blues a little bit, uh, coming away with a 6-3 win. Yeah, I thought we played, uh, I thought we played well. Uh, I was really pleased with our first period. Uh, we out uh, attempted them with 30 attempts. They had 15. We had a, a lot of scoring chances. They didn't have as many as, as us. And we just, we played good except the scoreboard, and they're up one nothing. They came out and, and took a 2 nothing lead, and I really like our guys' resolve. We bounced, we got a, a big goal right back uh, to make it 2-1. Uh, David Friedman got his first of the year, then, then Matt Cope scored a big goal, and, and then we got into a, a tremendous amount of penalty trouble, and um, five on threes, five minute major, another five on three. Uh, we got a shorthanded goal, give us a lead, and we're less than a minute away from completely getting out of it, and a uh, fluke goal happens, puck goes in, we're going to clear it, uh, goes in into our own net. Uh, but we got through that 11 minute span of when we killed penalties of tying 1-1. So you feel good about where you're going in the third period at home and our guys went out and, and our special teams got, uh, power play got us a goal and then we got uh, you know goals late to ice the game. But really a um, tough game for us because uh, challenging down to nothing, challenging with all the penalties but our guys really stepped up, or they stepped up uh, in special team situations, they spe stepped up in the last couple minutes, and they, they earned the win, and uh, it was a good team win. And before we talk about Sunday's game, I, you mentioned the penalty kill. I think, in my eyes, that was maybe kind of the turning point of that, that game, was killing that five on three, and then how extended it became. It was almost six minutes of, of kind of having to go through that, and when you're down a defenseman in that time, you've got guys playing a lot of minutes. I thought maybe Tyson Wilson, Chase Golightly really stepped up in that scenario. Well, all of our penalty killers did, especially the five on three group. Um, but our defense, they were, we lost Evan Moore, who's one of our big penalty killers and, and, and logs a lot of minutes on penalty kill. He doesn't play at power play. Him and Rob Mann, their primary, primary job in special teams is to kill penalties. And um, to lose Evan was a, a big blow, but Chase stepped up, uh, Tyson stepped up, Alex Bonche, Rob Mann, and we even had to throw Eric Israel in a couple situations when he barely has practiced that. So our, our defense did a, a great job, but you're only as good as your goaltender. And Terry Schaefer was outstanding in the, the five on threes um, and, the, and the special teams. And your goaltender makes the big saves and, and that uh, propels you. I thought it was our, our best penalty killing effort of the year. Yes, we held Michigan to 0 for 6 and kept them to the outside and did a lot of good things, but this was the circumstances behind it a five on three, a five and a major, another five on three, all within a, a quick uh, turnaround. So our guys did a great job of, of getting the job done. Forwards, Greg Gibson, uh, Brandon Denham, Zach Lynch, those are our, our primary five on three guys. They did a, a great job and hats off to all the penalty cars. I thought Matt Cope was outstanding killing penalties this weekend. And as Spencer Dorowitz and Timmy Moore are consistently good, um, Matt was very good. And, and all of them, they, they deserve an A plus for that, that effort. Now to move into Sunday's game, uh, a close one. You guys, maybe it was almost maybe the opposite of, of Saturday on the scoreboard at least. You guys jumped out to the lead and you know Sacred Heart able to fight back into that one. How did you guys really kind of hunker down heading into that third period? And you were up a goal, but felt like you know things kind of changed a little bit in the third. Yeah, they did. Now we had a 4-1 lead pretty much in control of the game and um, we, gave up, uh, we gave up one. Um, then we get it, gave up a, a power play goal. Uh, they just started throwing pucks to the net from all angles. And give them credit, they didn't quit. I think uh, both teams kind of went through a lull, um, for, you know, in, in certain stretches of the game. They went through a lull where we scored three to open the second. We went through a lull um, the last five minutes of the second and maybe the first two or three minutes of the third where they tied it. But our guys really stepped up after that. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't a big fan of the, the, the goal that, uh, the fourth goal to tie it. But uh, our goaltender made some huge saves late um, on the power play, uh, coming crease to crease, uh, a turnover. Uh, Dalton made some um, really big time saves to keep it 4-4. And then we were opportunistic. Uh, very good individual effort by Spencer Dorowitz. Got a pass from Denham, goes down below the circles, throws it out, and David Friedman gets a second of the year and game winner. And guys did a very good job at the end of holding on and, and not allowing a lot. We did, we did, we played, I would say probably yeah, five of six periods on the weekend. I thought we could have been a little better on Sunday, but uh, you know, it, it was it was a good weekend for us. There's a lot that goes on, and and uh, you know, in into 
break weekends. Um, our guys don't have any schedule, so there are a lot of downtime, and, and sometimes downtime is uh, the enemy. And uh, now that we're back into a school routine, I think our guys are, are ready to, to do things and have their regimented days scheduled through practice classes and studying and then get on the road. With RIT, um, you know, haven't played each other for that many years and already have kind of a great history of games back and forth. You do hold the lead in the all-time series. What, what do you know about this RIT team and, and what it takes for you guys to win this weekend? Well, they graduated obviously some very good players and Garbowski and uh, McGowan, but they do have some good players uh, back. Uh, uh, Josh Mitchell, Mitchell, the goaltender, Mike Rotolo, their defense is, is very deep and very good. The, the Twins are, are very good and a, a transfer that, that played a little bit for them last year, Greg Amlong's having a very good year. And then they throw a lot of freshmen in and they always play hard. They feed off their crowd. Uh, it's a fun place to play, um, good atmosphere. And uh, this is a good hockey team. They've, uh, they've played some of the best teams in the nation. They were just, uh, just at Boston College. They took a 2-0 lead on Boston College. Unfortunately, they didn't hold on for the, the league's sake, but um, it, uh, you have to be a, a talented team to be able to get that lead. And uh, they always are a good team, always play tough, and it's going to be a good challenge for us. You know, the guy, a couple of the guys mentioned after the game on, on Sunday that, yeah, the crowd at RIT is, is always kind of fun to play in a rowdy, you know, college atmosphere. Uh, how, how much do you kind of like having that? Does that give you guys a little extra juice out there when you play? Well, I don't know if it, it gives it any juice. I think it, when you're hated, I think it uh, fuels you to try to shut them up. And I think that was one of the things that we were able to do. Uh, we've, we've had some very good success there at uh, Old Ritter Arena. We split there at uh, the new place last year. We won the regular season championship the first night. And I didn't say we had a down game the next day, but um, we were up 3-1 and, and didn't hold on. And they came back and won 4-3. But... Um, it's they're they're it's a it's a fun place to play. They they really get into it. Uh, good people there too. I, I, the coaching staffs uh, really a bunch of good guys. Uh, I have a lot of respect for for Wayne and and Brian and Dave and um, you know they they've got they've, they're very friendly there and uh, hopefully they'll continue to be friendly to us. <laughs> well, coach, best of luck this weekend and uh, we'll have you covered uh, from Rochester this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. Thank you.